Hello folks, I am the Coast with Knife, aka Yaker, and welcome back to some more DVD killer content, doing some more off-meta badness with the brand new Legion mask, which I'm super hyped about. I much prefer the jacket, and I've been trying to make the, the mask work, I just can't really get it on something I really like. But I do have this nice little Christmas sweater that I never use, so I was like, why not use that and the rat knife? These look, oh, half and half, cool. So our build is very off-meta. Uh, again, I, I like the last Ghost Fist video. I want to do things that don't rely on Ruin and Undying. We're using Surge, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Basically, when you down a survivor with a basic attack, generation 32%, uh, 32 meters of you explode from start of regress for eight, and the first one is, the first regression is 8%. Devour Hope, after, which basically after we hook survivor and they get unhooked when we're away from the hook we get tokens so we can down them instantly we know that it's and strider what they do stolen sketchbook for more duration and the iridescent button um when we're using pharaoh frenzy our terror radius is in the entire map and any pallets we've altered immediately broken so the idea of this is we injure a bunch of survivors we down them with surge to slow down the gens with thanet's phobia we use strider to find people because thanet's phobia since we'll be injuring a lot of people because we're legion will hopefully help us slow the game down. And once we get them to a point where we have three tokens, we find an uninjured survivor and we down them in one shot. Is this very reliable? Not really, Devour Hope tends to go away very quickly, but because I actually have Thanos Phobia and Devour Hope, Thanos Phobia will affect Totem Cleansing Speed, which will make it a little bit harder to do that. I thought about using Thrill over Surge or Thrill over Strider, but I just really want some sort of some form of gen regression and a lot of people tell me surge is a really strong perk i personally really just don't believe in it every time i've used surge it just doesn't do anything maybe it's because i i'm, I'm not hugging them around gens that are being done maybe that's my biggest problem so this game i'm going to try to play around surge and devour hope and down people near gens so i can keep them regressing and use Thanos phobia to keep pressure on them and then strider to find them because i love strider on legion i think it's an excellent perk so yeah using the new mask using a new knife for me at least it, it's been around for a while i forever hated oh god this map uh it's probably a loss i forever hated this knife for the longest time but people have convinced me that to use it. I've seen it in enough streams, and I'm like, eh, why not? They would have seen me if they were there. Hell of a name, use peanut butter. Okay, so we're, we're, we're go coming off the game that was really frustrating. I don't see my survivors. I could have ran away from here. I thought it was just scratch marks. There's one. I want... Got him. Where's she at? Use this. She's over there. She's over here still. Thanks. That's another pallet gone. Use this because I want to start keeping them injured. We have substantive value here. A gen did get kicked behind me. It looks like I got some surge value. I thought I'd hear the surge. Yeah, I definitely got a gen regress. Hopefully it was more than that one, though. 32 meters is pretty big, so... Hopefully we got some nice value off of that. Getting our first down is pretty big. We broke two pallets. They're healing up, though, so Thanatophobia is not getting too much value. But it's okay, because I got my Devour Hope stack that I completely forgot about. Oh, please. I insist. Damn it. She dead-hearted through it. There's no reason to. Why did you do that? You just kind of screwed your team over there. She's running away from the gens. I can't really do anything about it. She's probably got DS. I don't know what to deal with it. It's early enough that it's fine. Yep. It's all that coming. It's okay. She's running away from all the pallets and stuff. I do have my power up, so... I can use it to break pallets. Surge should not proc. 
And it probably should have since that gen above me. Just gonna go over here. I heard them above me. I fucking hate this game. You son of a bitch. I hate survivors so much. You're mine, motherfucker. I've got 200 survivors. Oh, you sons of bitches. Oh. Damn it, I'm gonna kick that. They're trying this bullshit because they know it's a valid strategy. So just break hooks in front of me because he's got saboteur. Another fucking pallet? Why not have another pallet? Yeah, this thing's too fucking safe. God. Never mentioned I hate survivors. I legitimately hate them. I hate survivor mains so fucking much. They do, they have all sorts of bullshit like that. Oh yeah! Is there a pallet? Is there a hook you're trying to get to? Just fucking hit him in front of it. Just break the hook. This is fucking stupid. What? No. Enough. Motherfucker. I didn't get my search value off because I had to grab him. I'm getting some Thanos value here, but not a lot. Uh. Oh my god. That was frustrating as hell. I'm gonna kinda fuck off here until they get him. I'm gonna kinda hover on the outskirts here. Good. What?! Stupid. Lock on! I'm getting really frustrated, I need to calm down. They have two here. Got him. Get some more Thanos phobia out of you. Of course she has another pallet, because why wouldn't she? She ran it really tight, so I probably can't get her here. Yep. Cool! Cool, cool, cool! And use my power. You just tried to dead hard through me. I can't really get Surge off here, but I've gotten value off of it a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't have DS. Would be really nice. Of course I got that gen done, because why not? It's okay, because hopefully I get my Devour Hope token off. Right about here. Oh, he killed himself. So I'm not getting Devour Hope just yet. But I do have a kill. Which makes life easier. <laughs> Sabo gamers. I'm sorry, I got super salty there. I lost my cool. Hell yeah. Gotcha. Cool, this is fine. I'm fine with this. So we've gotten value off of our button. She has really nowhere to go here. 
Yeah, she does. She's always got some place to go. Because there's a pallet right here. Yep. It's fine. And she's going to teabag because she thinks she's really good because she can drop pallets. But I'm getting value off of everything I want. And in about three seconds, I'm going to make their life a nightmare. Yeah, we already used that pallet, remember? You used it, if I remember correctly. Get my surge off. What the hell? Hi, okay, sure. I think someone's over here still working on this. So we're getting plenty of Thanatobi value. We've gotten surge value off. That was dumb, girl. Real dumb. She's within the range. Dead heart, yep. I want information. Yeah. We want Dwight. We break this, we did. Good. Surge went off again, wow. Surge is getting a lot of value, I'm actually pretty surprised with it. Danatobia is doing a lot too to help slow down the game. I don't think I brought an event item. I did. Fuck. Did I use this hook, we're about to find out. I think I did. I did not, okay. What are you doing, lady? I want more information off of her. I do have my power back up so I can break a pallet with it again if I need to. Another surge. So now they know about Devour Hope. There's a hook over here, good. I've already used this one, I believe. No, they broke it, right. That's our third token? What? Oh, they didn't know about it, because it was our third token. It's okay, now I can get value off of it. So this should be over here, healing. Let's wrap this game up real quick. This build did a lot better than I thought it would. We got a lot of value off of Surge there in the end. So much of the speed boost that I had. Cool. I'll break it. She's gonna try to use this window to loot me. I'll let her loop it again. Yeah, she doesn't know where really to go now. That window's blocked. She has to go that way. And this is blocked off too, so she can't go in here because it's a death trap. What are we doing? This build did awesome. Unless he's got Unbreakable, which now would be a great time to find out about that. So we did get quite a bit of surge value out of this. I'm actually pretty happy with it. They can still get off, which is fine. He should be over here. Yep. Every time. You know what? What the fuck? So she must have ran over and saved him. So we got the insta down off of uh, Devour Hope and it came in clutch because it helped us try to wrap up this game. This fucking clot had happened. Uh, I've been incredibly salty, I am sorry. That Sabo set, the, set me in a wrong mindset. She's over here. I hear her. Let me guess, another unbreakable? No, no, it wasn't unbreakable. He had sprint burst, or balanced. Which is fair. If she gets up, I'm gonna use my power to stop him. 
getting more... Oh, I got Devourer Hope speed from the unhook and it let me catch him. That's hilarious. DS? Nope. Cool. She was over here. Hello, bitch. Do I let her try to escape? Nope. Fuck that. I was gonna go for that hook back there, but no, someone wants to be a brat. This build did a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to. I'm thoroughly impressed with this. So that was pretty good. Damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yes. Sorry, so this build did a lot better than I thought it would. Devour Hope came in clutch just when we needed it to. Surge got us a lot of regression and Strider and Thanatophobia to normal Strider and Thanatophobia things on Legion. So I'm thoroughly happy with that. I'm just super happy and super impressed. What a fun off oh, meta build. Uh, so there was two, two DS, I just didn't care. So because she unhooked herself and I went for Dwight after all that, I dodged DS, which is great. And yeah, that stupid Jake with a Zebo. So let's go over real quick how this game fell apart. Jake just kind of killing himself for no reason is the big reason this build did so much work. Um, the, um, I think this, no, no, that was Dwight. That's Claudette. So this Nancy, she was pretty decent at running. Oh, she had desperate measures. And then she had the three meta perks of the apocalypse. Yep, sounds about right. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't bad at looping, but it's it's builds like this where you got borrowed time, DS, and dead hard that just kind of do a bunch of work for you that, that always put a bad taste in my mouth. And I know the Sabo wing really got under my skin in the beginning, but I managed to make it work because the dude who was Sabo wing just kind of gave up. <laughs> so... Overall, again, I'm not super impressed with this build. I mean, like, that one game I did really well, but again, that's mostly because Jake just gave up way too easily. But we did get a lot of value. We got a lot of pilot breaks with our uh, iridescent button, which I completely forgot to say. When we, ha I, th I think I said something. If we vault a pilot when this, when we have this out on, it immediately breaks it. And um, the sketchbook did a lot of work. All of our perks really did something key there, so I'm pretty happy with it. So that's going to cover it for this little off-meta sesh. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you folks next time.